Hey Scorpio, what's going on? I hope you are really well. Um, my name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And we're going to do a little love reading for August, but you know, a timeless reading, Scorpio. So whenever you happen to find this is, uh, you know, when you were meant to see it. You're very, very welcome here, Scorpio. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out the reading. Um, I really appreciate it. And hopefully it'll resonate and you'll enjoy it and all that good stuff. And if it does and, you know, you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I'd appreciate that a lot. So what's going on for Scorpio in love? What's going on for Scorpio in love? Why are your cards not coming out, Scorpio? All right, something's taking a really long time to manifest <laughs> and it's bothering you, okay? Because I feel like you've been waiting for someone new to come in or you've been waiting for a specific person for ages and you got the nine of swords here so you know there's there's I think there's a little bit of a test going on here to be honest with you Scorpio it's like you're kind of learning because the, the nine of swords is all about kind of worrying and sleepless nights and anxiety and like darkest fears you know prophesizing the worst uh, like expecting the worst self-fulfilling prophecies because you know maybe if something's taking a long time you're kind of like oh, well I'm never going to meet anyone or this person's obviously never coming I feel like there's a bit of a test here to try and get you out of that negative mindset and into like manifestation mode which is keeping your vibration high um, hoping not not really hoping but knowing that things are going to come towards you yeah See, you're manifesting something. This is the judgment card, but it's more about the picture in this one. You're manifesting something. You're creating something. Yep, you're manifesting something new. Something very passionate. And you have the seven of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck, awaiting results. See, you've planted the seeds for something and now you're just having to wait. Like it's being manifested, but I think you're, it's not that you're annoyed um, that it's taking so long. I think it's just when it doesn't come in right away, you know, you start getting paranoid and you start thinking the worst, you know, it's, which is understandable. But um, I think this is a little bit of a test for you, like I said, to sort of try and make you manifest um, from like a, a positive mindset, which is the only place that you can manif manifest anything good from. Okay, so what else for Scorpio? The Four of Cups, yeah, you're definitely four. <laughs> oh my God. You have the Four of Cups and the Four of Swords. And you have the Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So you're manifesting. The Fours are all about manifestation, okay? And you have the Four of Cups here and the Four of Swords. So you're in separation from a specific person or you're waiting for someone new, like you're waiting to meet someone new and you're bored. You're really bored of waiting. Totally understandable. I totally get that. But actually you're kind of in, you know, with the Four of Swords, um, they might be trying to get you to meditate more or they're just trying to get you to rest. Like you're just in a period of kind of resting, resting and waiting. Um, you have the Four of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. So... There's a little bit of a message here about holding on to things too tightly, right? And I am not judging you. I am totally guilty of this myself. Um, because manifestation is a tricky one to explain, but you know, I, I tend to have a habit of holding on to things too tight, or I did anyway, until I sort of got that in check. Because it's like, whatever this is, I mean, it's a love reading, so I'm assuming that you're manifesting love here or you're manifesting a specific person, but when you're holding on to things too tightly, you tend to kind of obsess about it a little bit, right? Um, 
and it's like the more that you kind of keep checking with spirit that it's coming it's like the less that you believe that it's coming so it's kind of blocking your manifestation right um so the more that you can just kind of let it go and stop worrying and obsessing about it the quicker it will probably come in it's a, it's a fine line it's like you're not kind of giving up on the manifestation you're just kind of loosening your grip on it okay so i feel like that's what you're learning at the moment and that is a harsh lesson believe me i know i've been through it myself <laughs> look the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck you're definitely stressing out about something and you know if this is not resonating with you then it's your person okay you could be dealing with a gemini because uh that is our card <laughs> this is the gemini card um so let's see who this is you're manifesting who are you manifesting who is this person coming towards scorpio six of wands uh that is leo energy <laughs> the chariot that's cancer they might have a little bit of cancer in their chart um I don't really know which one that was. I'm going to reshuffle. Who's this? <laughs> you have the Seven of Wands. Okay. Who is this person coming towards Scorpio? The Fool. And the King of Pentacles. Which would be Earth Energy. And the Hermit. So you could be dealing with someone, you could be dealing with a Virgo or someone with Virgo in their chart. Let me just clarify here. Clarify that six of wands, please. All right, this person, whoever they are, um, you may already know this person. The six of wands, they're getting over something, okay? You have the four of pentacles here and the four of cups. So you may have already made your feelings known to this person, or maybe some of you have not met this person yet, and this is what they're going through now before you meet them. But it's like they were reluctant to kind of release control to you at first because they have a fear of rejection. Now it could also they might they have a they might have a fear of rejection or they were still thinking about something that happened in the past. They may have been cheated on in the past. Okay. But they're over they're over that now. With the Six of Wands, that's like moving on. And it may have been a delay, because the Six of Wands is often delayed news. So, you know, this is someone that wasn't I feel like they just weren't ready. You know, if it's someone you already know. They could definitely be a cancer, or they might have some cancer in their chart, this person, Scorpio. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave that there because I feel like that's an extra message. <laughs> okay, this really wants to come out, so they could, they could have some Leo in their chart as well. So you have the chariot and the sun. Um, it, I think it took them a little while to get out of this funk I want to say funk and I want to say like a lack of trust or some it's something like that it wasn't anything to do with you though it was either it's it's something that's happened before you but they're over that now okay or they will be getting over it soon because you have the chariot and the sun so it's like they're starting to think clearly they may have been in moon energy before where things were a bit murky fears were getting in the way um but they're they're getting over that now because the sun is coming out you know seeing things clearly, seeing things for what they are, being illuminated. And the chariot is someone that's very focused. You know, it's like someone that has a renewed sense of focus and purpose and drive, which is you. <laughs> they know what they want now and it's you. Clarify this seven of wands. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is not clarifying the seven of wands. This is they're, they're gonna they know what they're kind of they're gonna be coming in with a love offer okay with the knight of cups that's what they want to do now that's their focus now clarify the seven of wands please i think it took them a long time to open up to you because they were very defensive 
and it's about something that happened in their past. This could be childhood wounds that they were dealing with, like they might have been doing some inner child healing. Um, but it's something from their past was kind of getting in the way. It was what was making them defensive. Clarify this fool, please. Clarify the fool. The two of pentacles. So they were trying to make a decision here about taking this leap of faith with you. Okay. Yeah, because I think they had to close down an old cycle basically before they could um, make this, like, take this leap of faith with you, like, make, take this, make this move with you. And there's, I, I don't, that's a good card, but I don't know why they're giving it to me. You see, you have this nine of, okay. Some, I think they had a connection or possibly even a marriage because the ten of pentacles came out. This person may have had a marriage or a long-term relationship before that went really badly with the Ten of Swords. Like they may have been stabbed in the back by this person or it just ended badly. Um, and now because of that, they're kind of suspicious. They're a bit of a wounded warrior, this person, or they have been. They're not feeling like that anymore, okay? That's maybe how they felt when you met them. Or, you know, like I said, if you've not met this person, this may be what they're going through now. But when you meet them, they'll be in the sun energy, okay? Cha sun, chariot, knight of cups, uh, seeing clearly, happiness coming back in, making this offer towards you, knowing what they want. But I think this is what they've been through in the past. Oh, clarify the knight of, uh, sorry, clarify the king of pentacles, please. They're a very deep thinker, this person. So you have the four of swords with the Seven of Swords, clarifying the King of Pentacles. I don't think that is clarifying the King of Pentacles. I feel like this is extra information. They needed a break. They left something behind. Whatever the Seven of Swords was, they left behind. They needed a break. They needed a bit of time to heal because it could be that someone deceived them. The Seven of Swords is often a card of deception. Yeah, see, they've been healing. What did they... Yeah, they just needed some time, Scorpio. You have the Seven of Pentacles, which talks about being in between two worlds, like an old cycle closing down, but the new cycle has not yet begun. It's like spirit kind of giving you a little bit of time to sort of adjust and catch your breath before you, you do the new thing, right? What did they move away from? They're very responsible, you know, King of Pentacles energy, it could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, they're very responsible, very like protective kind of energy. What did they move away from? What did this person move away from? Um, they've been in like a, a, a stasis mode. It's like they were just stuck because of whatever this was that happened to them in the past. What did they move away from? What's this Seven of Swords? Yeah, see, they're not gonna tell you. <laughs> Oh, it could be that. Okay. Is this you or is this their past person? They've been waiting for the right time. I'm going to reshuffle that because I'm not sure. Give that to me again. What is this Seven of Swords, please? <clears throat> what is this Seven of Swords, please? See, I just don't think they want to tell you what happened here in the past. Yeah, there, you might be dealing with someone like not closed off, 
but they're a little, I feel like they're a little embarrassed or something. Um, it's some kind of heavy burden. You have the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Cups in reverse, so they're coming towards you. But it's some kind of heavy burden that they moved away from, and you give it, they're giving you the Seven of Pentacles again. So they've definitely been in some kind of stasis, you know, where they were healing and trying to figure out what to do. Clarify this King of Pentacles. Um, it could also be that there's something about money here, like they were trying to save up some money or get themselves back on their feet. So you have the King of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. And clarify the Hermit, please. Clarify the Hermit. They were trying to make a decision. Clarify the hermit. I think you might be dealing with someone that went through a, a divorce or like a commitment that ended kind of fast because it's the, it was the justice card with the tower. So I feel like maybe they've just spent a lot of time thinking about something that ended very quickly in the past that was maybe a bit of a shock to them. Clarify the hermit. Yeah, they're coming out of that now though, okay? They just needed some time to think, really. What's this? I'm going to go into a different deck here. Definitely a love offer coming in from this person, okay? Clarify this Five of Swords. They were, they were healing. They were healing from this Five of Swords. Yeah, the Hanged Man, you've definitely been hanging around waiting for this person. And it's been something about them needing a new perspective. What's this Five of Swords? They're very cagey. <laughs> What's this Five of Swords? It's something that ended, okay, with the death card here. Um, they were trying to make a choice. They basically just couldn't decide what to do here with you, Scorpio. You have the Chariot, the Devil, and the Two of Swords. Um, they were just, they just kind of got in their own way, you know, with the Devil. Like, I feel like this Five of Swords is just them massively overthinking things. And I feel like it's because something ended in the past that was painful. Maybe someone deceived them or something like that. And they've just been very cautious about whether or not to go for this with you, but they will. So what action is this person going to take towards Scorpio? You might be dealing with um, more of a strong, silent type kind of energy here. Very protective though. So what action is this person going to take towards Scorpio? Yeah, there's the, <laughs> there's the Two of Cups. There, there, you've definitely, there's the King of Pentacles as well. You've definitely been waiting for this person to do something, okay? Because the Page of Swords is like delayed news. Um, the Two of Cups is union, okay? There's going to be union here. They're probably going to ask you out for a drink coffee or dinner or a glass of wine or something. King of Pentacles again. I think this person wants to spoil you a bit. You know, there's a lot of wine here <laughs> in these two cards. I feel like you're going to get taken out for wine or dinner or something or they might like to cook for you. That's a bit random but something like that. They kind of just thought you were a little too good to be true, to be honest. You have the, oh, look at 
that shit. Sorry, I keep swearing by mistake today. You have the lovers, the seven of cups, and the six of cups. See, they see you as a soul, yeah. The six of cups on top of the six of cups. They see you as a soulmate. Um, they actually see, you know, I think they're very attracted to you physically, Scorpio, but you know, you have the, the lovers, the two of cups, the six of cups. They see you as like soulmate energy. But there's something here about wondering if you're too good to be true because I feel like they've been burned in the past. But yeah, I feel like this, this person's gonna spoil you. They seem very like, they might be kind of traditional in some way. Like they feel like they should, I don't know, I'm like, I know not everybody's dealing with a guy or maybe like the guy in your relationship, like the masculine energy, they feel like they should be able to take you out and spoil you or something. Maybe they had a bit of money problems or... I feel like there's something like that with this person. Yeah, because you have the emperor here. They, they might be kind of traditional or... It's it's like they feel... You know, the, the emperor is like daddy energy or like mummy energy. It's like someone very loyal, very faithful, very grown up. I would say this person's been through it. They've been to like the school of life, <laughs> school of hard knocks. And it's someone who plans, someone who plans to win, you know, not to win, but like they want, you know, it's like the emperor is someone who like plans long term. They're very structured, they're very organized. So they want this to go well, you know, so they might have been planning this out a lot, but they're ready now, okay? So yeah, anything else for what action this person's going to take? That was the Ace of Swords that I just saw in there. They're gonna, there's going to be some kind of communication. And the Eight of Pentacles here, they've been working on this, all right? You may have met this person at your job. There's a lot of pentacles here. Or maybe you met them, like the Eight of Pentacles can talk about something that you're very good at or something that you're getting better at like um, an evening class or maybe they, yeah, something like that. Um, so they're, they're working on communication, okay? And there's the page of pentacles. So they're working on an offer, all right? They, I feel like they want it to be perfect because they do have, oh, look, the four of cups and the five of swords. Again, they do have a little bit of a fear of rejection here. <laughs> I feel like this is someone who massively overthinks. I feel like you're overthinking. I feel like they're overthinking because of something that happened in their past. So yeah, definitely communication with the eight of wands. You have the four of wands underneath that. They want this to be a, a commitment, okay? Yeah. I mean, they're not going to tell you that right away when they come in, right? They're not going to want to appear crazy, but that's what they're going for and you have the world card here so it's like starting a whole new cycle with this person like that's it you know I feel like once it starts with this person that's kind of going to be it you know because I feel like you've maybe had to wait for a long time but once it gets going that's it so yeah definitely expect communication from this person okay but bear with them because I feel like they are a bit of a perfectionist and because something has gone, yeah, <laughs> I don't know if they are a Virgo or they got Virgo in their chart somewhere. I'm kind of getting heavy Virgo vibes with this person. Like, you know, they want it to go right. They're kind of worry. They're a worrier. You know, they're they're like planning. Like, how am I going to do this? What am I going to say? How do I how do I do this? <laughs> Especially because something has gone wrong in the past for them. So they could be a Taurus. Um, what else about this person coming towards Scorpio? Camera cut out Scorpio, apologies. What else about this person coming towards Scorpio? They're probably very beautiful if, if they have a lot of Virgo in their chart. Virgos are usually very beautiful, as are Taurus. Um, what else about this person? See how the cards are not coming out? They're very slow moving, very cautious. Come on. <laughs> what else about this person coming towards Scorpio? It's 
All right, come on. See, I feel like this is, okay, it could be another Scorpio. Um, which would make sense as to why the, the, the readings are kind of mirroring each other a little bit, right? Because that's kind of you up there, and then this is them down here, and it's kind of a similar energy. Um, so maybe some of you guys both have a little Scorpio in your chart or something. But yeah, they're very slow moving. And let's get some of these. You come here to me, cards. So who's this person coming towards Scorpio? Who's this person selfless? Well, that's a nice card to get. So this person is selfless. What else about this person coming towards Scorpio? Okay. You have overthinker and Scorpio just came out again. So could definitely be another Scorpio. Um, Definitely an overthinker. What else about this person coming towards Scorpio? This is why it's been so slow. Yeah, they're really pretty. You've gorgeous here, like they're pretty. Or they're handsome, if you don't like being called pretty. If you're a guy. Didn't I say that? I feel like I said good cook. Or something about cooking, right? They wanna cook for you. You might find that this person is quite an accomplished cook or they like to cook and they're good at it. They're funny. Nice. Um, yeah, they could be an earth sign, which would be um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm just going to take that one. Could definitely be an earth sign. Or maybe you think they're, you know, maybe could be a Libra. Um, maybe you only know their sun sign, right? Like maybe you only know their birthday. But the thing is, there's lots of other ways that people show up. Like sometimes they show up as their rising sign. Um, sometimes they have an earth sign for their Venus. Sometimes they have like an earth midheaven. That's, I'm just gonna reshuffle that because that's a lot. What else about, okay, this person, you have empathetic. What else about this person coming towards Scorpio? What else about this person coming towards Scorpio? I'm just gonna let the cards, I know it's taking a while, but I feel like your person is taking a while, so we're just gonna go with their energy. You can't make them go faster, right? You can't change people. What else about this person coming towards Scorpio? It's taking a really long time. <laughs> what else about this person coming towards Scorpio? You have sexy and you have serious. So th see, they might be kind of intense in a way, and you might find that quite sexy because you are Scorpio. Scorpios tend to be quite intense, like in a good way, I mean. Like you, you guys have that kind of sultry, like seductive kind of thing. I can't think of any Scorpios. Oh, oh, um, the girl from Game of Thrones, the mother of dragons, she's a Scorpio, I believe. See, it's like that, kind, you might like that about this person that they have like a very, they might have a very serious or intense kind of energy, but it's like very appealing to you. Let's get two more. What else about this person coming towards Scorpio? You have, oh, that's a lot spirit, I'm just looking for two. What else about this person coming towards Scorpio? Family oriented. So this person's looking for a family maybe for a lot of you. Um, okay, we'll take them, we'll take two. And you have total babe. Yeah, see there's something about this person, like they have Virgo Taurus kind of energy. Cause those are two signs that are usually very beautiful. Um, Scorpio are usually very attractive as well, but there's, 
uh, and I'm not an earth sign, so can't take this, <laughs> but you know, the Virgos and Taurus, they have like a reputation for being very beautiful. So I feel like the person's gorgeous and you have cancer as well. So they might have a little bit of water thrown in there, you know, especially coming out next to family oriented. Cancers are usually very family oriented. So you might be dealing with someone that's a bit of a homebody. You know, they like to cook. It's, even if you're dealing with a guy, right? I'm not being sexist. Like, you know, you might find this person's more of a like stay at home and cook you know, chill in the house kind of thing. Uh, so I hope that was useful, Scorpio. Many thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If uh, you feel like doing that and you feel like it resonated, I'd appreciate it a lot. And many blessings as always, lovely Scorpio, love and light.